have your name, please. Hi. Um, okay. Uh, it, my name is Rhonda Arrington Bay. Rhonda Arrington Bay. Good afternoon. Hi. How are you doing? Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi, thank you for... Uh, I'm well. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I'm well, too. Okay. Um, All right. Okay, so what the reason why I am um, calling is because I just got an email from Rachel James. Like, um, can I... Because I... Um, I I want to uh, make sure I tell you everything, and I um I don't I hope the the phone call will it disconnect at five p.m. if if this goes over five p.m. No, ma'am. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, 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 first things first. So, what's a good contact phone number for you? So, if it would disconnect it for any reason, I'll call you back. Okay, three four seven six eight six four nine one six. Okay, and. Uh... So um, yeah, probably your mailing address for me. There you are. Okay. Um. So um. The uh, mailing address is um, one twenty Admiral Cochran Drive, um, one one six, room one one six two one four two one four zero one is the zip code. And that's in Annapolis, Maryland. Gotcha. Okay. No, well, it's five where you are. About to be five. I'm about an hour behind you, so we're we're not going anywhere. Okay. So, um, okay. So okay. it is um, January the twenty third. Okay, twenty twenty three. Okay. And what is your name? Uh huh. What is your name? First name is Ed. 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 Okay. Ed. Let me write this down. Ed. My last name is Goolsby. Uh -huh. How you spell your name? E D. E D and then you said last name is Goosby. How you spell Goosby? G O O. Okay. L S B Y. L S B Y. Thank you. Okay, so one January the twenty third, twenty twenty three. Okay, the reason why I'm contacting, I just received the email. Um, Rachel James. Uh, uh, she is the E E O C investigator that's taking over the case. And um, let me. I guess I need. I need to go ahead and give you the um, case numbers so you can pull it up. Is that correct? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm getting there. That's what I was going to ask you for. I'm getting there to uh, pull that up. Okay. And we'll see what we can help you with. And you charge. Okay, I'm ready for the charge number. Okay. Um, is the I have two case numbers. Um, one is five three one two zero two two zero three two six. One zero two two six five. Okay. Okay, and the second one is got it. okay. You got that one. Do you want me to tell you the second one as well? Yes, let me just. I'll just type the second one in. Right, I'll have it here for me, so you won't have to go through it all over again. Go ahead, I'm ready. Okay, five three one two zero two two. Zero three two six nine. Right. Okay, so we're going to end, look at the one ending in two sixty five first. Okay, Yes, that's the that's what I was told. In the uh, yes. So in the uh, Baltimore field office. Okay. What about the second one? Is, this, okay. is the second one linked to the first one because it's like both both case numbers are in reference to the same place? I'll check and see, but they should be. Okay. Usually, usually that's how it's handled. Now, before I tell you yes, I, I'm gonna look at them and make sure because uh, usually that is the case. That's how we do them. Okay. James, hey, do, do, do you have Rachel's phone number, or do you need that? Um, I could. Um, I, I'm yes, I do have Rachel's number. I called, <laughs> and she sent me the number. Um. 
through email. Um, but I don't have um, a uh, fax number because she sent me a form to fill out so that I can request more time because I was told by um, a representative um, last week that um, February the 14th, 2023 would be um, the deadline. She sent me the form today, but I, the reason why I'm contacting, because I, I did send her an email stating what is the best way or the quickest way for her to get this form. Uh, can I fax it? Uh, yes, so I, I would like a fax number if that's the case, or what's the quickest way to get the form to her? Possibly be faxed, okay. and I'll, I'll get you their fax number too. Okay. So that means I'm pulling up the uh, the second number to see if that one is uh, link assigned to her. Okay. Thank you. To her, yeah, because you usually they'll they'll do it that way, but that's the common way to do it. You would think, but if it's the same company, rather, so if that's what you're saying it is. But before I just give you a. a Yes, I want to make sure of myself. Cause I don't want... You say you want to do what? I say I want to make sure of myself that it's oh. signed. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thanks. To her. So this one is, is just in, a, in an inquiry status. It's where you submitted an inquiry. What's the difference? And I'm looking up the inquiry. Oh, okay. I apologize. Let me let the me. The inquiry is where you where, where you are uh, where you you submit something and you submit an inquiry as far as does this case meet the criteria for filing a complaint, and you wait for the uh, investigator to contact you back. Now, is the, the is it the same company for both uh both inquiry both uh in, both numbers? Yes, it is, and I and um, because of um, ignorance of I didn't know. I was thinking both of them will be connected to the the situation. I was because um, I didn't I, I did not get anything uh, email back from the second one. I thought both of them would be were in reference to the same. Um, Comp I mean, it's the same company, but the same situation, but different. I mean, different situations, but at the same company. So I really need to. And I did speak of um, um, me experiencing what I experienced with the um, second case number to the investigator, James Norris, because and I because I I was ignorant to know um, that I needed to give him both case numbers. I only I saw I only gave him one case I only gave him one case number and then I just started to explain to him um, what I was experiencing and what led me to contact the um, Burger King Corporation and now contacting the EEOC and I did speak of um, what I um, documented or sent to the EEOC in the second case number when I had the interview um, with James Norris on um, November 3rd, 2022. I did because I, I was, I didn't know that I needed to say both case numbers. Not necessarily. Now, you don't need to even need two case numbers. If something happened with, with the uh, early incident, uh, was it prior to, well, the first case, the one that ends in, uh, in uh, 265, was that Prior to the one that the incident that ended in 269. Yes. Okay. So that that's okay because what they can do is they'll just go in and change the date because they'll tie them both together. You don't have to have every incident uh, in, with a different charge number. You can use the same charge number for each incident, even if there were a hundred incidents. You can use the same charge number. For all of those incidents, as long as it's with the same company. Okay. It's only if it's with a different company that they that you'd have to separate the charge numbers. Okay. If we had two different had two different uh, companies, therefore you'll find a complaint against. But if it's with the same company, they're all together. It's all together. Okay. And um, so um, with the um, with the form that Rachel sent me, um, Rachel James, excuse me, um, sent me. She only put one. She only have one case number. Um, 
that I, I received today and it, it's the one that says two six ending in two six five so I was going to um yes. I, I was going to put um the second case number when I sent it back to her notarize um with two six nine two you you can you you don't have to though because uh, you can make reference to that. You can always update your information and make reference to the older charge or the, the uh, updated information. Because that only what happens is the dates only change. The time limit for filing changes with the uh, with the number. That's all that does. But the more with the more recent incidents, say if one happened in January uh, in August of last year and one happened in September of last year, the only thing that would change is your time limit to file. If it happened in August, it would be 300 days from August 1st, for example. If it was in September, it would be 300 days from September 1st. Okay. But if she's filing it right now, that's going to stop the clock anyway. And you can always add information to it. Okay. So, so you're good that way. You can always, always add additional information and not have to do a whole different inquiry number. Thank you. Oh, that's all you need? Uh, well, I, I, well, no, no, that is not. I, I need to, um, the fax <laughs> number. <laughs> I need the, the fax number. I think, yeah, there we go. I knew it was something. Yeah, and, 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 two men. Okay. Uh-huh. And the fax number, let's see what office. Out of Baltimore. Okay. Nine nine two. Okay. Seven eight eight six. Okay. So that's four four three nine nine two seven eight eight six. That's correct. That's the direct number to the Baltimore office. Okay. And then you do have her email address also. Correct. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. I've been emailing uh, uh, in her um, telephone number. So, uh, okay. You said attention. Um, yes. I could put attention, Rachel James. Yes, ma'am. And let her know in the email. I faxed you this information so they can go in and check the fax machine. Okay. It's usually someone will bring it to her, but you want to, you know, just uh, let them know to, to be on 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 top of it to be looking for it okay um so um okay okay i guess and so um i'm just reiterating um um or not reiterating but um i'm making sure that um all the t's are um what is it cross all the eyes are dot so let me let me go ahead and um yes, let, let me do this real quick <laughs> so um um, so the fax number once again is four four three nine nine two seven eight eight six. Okay, you said that um, I could um, put attention Rachel James and then the email to make sure um, you know just give them heads up that um, the the fax should be there, um, and then um, I can I'll communicate. Plus, I, I I do have her number and I can call and leave a message as well. And then um, also, um, you said that you wanted to check to make sure, uh, but you said it, um, I don't have to um, do another inquiry um, if it's with the same company, the same place, same um, um, place. Um, both case numbers should be um, connected together. Um, but you was making sure that it was. Uh, you was making sure that that's what that was what had um that it was linked together and and so yeah, one, one is an inquiry and one is the uh a, a, the charge the charge has actually been filed you can always just update or uh, update information you don't need another inquiry number to do that okay so i can update information so it um is so let me just verify make sure i understand or um have understanding uh -huh. so the um so the inquiry 
is um one is um so the inquiry is where i can update information but it is connected to um the case number is that correct no, the case number is where you can update information. Oh, the case number. You can always update the case number because the case number is already filed. So you don't have to go through all the inquiry all over again. Okay, so, um, so okay, and I apologize. I, I saw, so say, uh, no, okay, so if, um, so, um, 269, um, even though, I um so I did tell James Norris about um uh, experiences I experienced in 269 um when Ra as Rachel James complete the uh filing um after this form is filed and then th another form is sent to me will she um include um the inquiry as well um of 269 you can make reference to it. She may have enough that you, you may not have to have to do that. Okay. You want to speak to her and see if that's what she wanted to do. Um, but um, because the charge is filed okay. under 265. That's the one that she's going to file the charge under. That's where it's been assigned to her. And that's what she wrote up everything under 265. Okay. Now, if she needs to update, she can update. She can go in and update 265 with the information on 269. If she needs, if she needs to do that, she can do it. If she just go and copy it and put it on there. Okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, you are welcome, ma'am. Thanks for your time. You enjoy the remainder of your day. If you don't have any other questions for me. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, thank you. We still here. We made it past 5 o'clock. Oh. <laughs> and no disconnection. <laughs> no disconnection. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. Um, Islam Sheet Dwayne Bell for Baby I'm Watching Rare Connection and Family. So, um, um, that's it. Okay. So, this is January 23rd, 2020, January 23rd, 2023. I'm, I'm, um, going to, um, ask, um, Extended Stay America to, um, um, extended stay America to print it. They usually print it. it's five oh eight p.m. So, okay, to print out the um the uh, form. <laughs>